All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a follow-up sequence. Now, follow-up sequence and get response, what that means is an email sequence that goes out automatically after someone opts in to your campaign, whether it be through a capture page that you built with the web form builder, as I've shown you in, I believe, the video above, or if they opt in through a lead pages page that you've integrated with GetResponse for which there will be training below, or if they've opted in with a primary Empower Network capture page or Prosperity Team or iPads 2, doesn't really matter, uh, but this is something that happens automatically, which is different than a what GetResponse calls a newsletter, which I like prefer to call it a broadcast email, okay? So the way we do that is we're gonna go up here under messages, we're going create autoresponder. Okay, and notice that it's saying on day zero and immediately, okay? That means this is an email that will go out immediately after someone opts in to this campaign, okay, to this list. And notice that it's under test campaign. Sometimes if you've got multiple lists that can, you know, sometimes it gets goofy and it'll, you know, change that. So you just want to make sure that you've got the right campaign or the right list chosen there. Okay. And if everything else looks good, we're going to click on create new email, create new email. Okay. Uh, here you can give the message a name. Uh, I usually just leave it blank because once you put in a subject, that will become the name for the message. So, uh, you know, the info you requested, okay, or the video you requested, or, you know, whatever it is that you're sending them, that's usually what I put as a subject line uh, for an initial follow-up. So if they opted in for a video on, I don't know, how I generated a thousand leads in a week, you know, the info you requested, you know, 1,000 leads generated in a week. I might do like, uh, you know, 1,000 leads in a week. We're doing this all hypothetically uh, speaking, if you can't tell. Once I've got that, I'm going to hit next step. All right? Then you've got all these pre-designed templates. I don't recommend or use any of them. You're going to scroll down and choose start from scratch then you're going to choose blank template sorry it's bogged down a bit and then I like to make it left aligned. So when you click this little button here, right? It says align left, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag over a text block, okay? And you can do some of this other stuff if you want, but I typically just do text. So in here is where I would put my message. Hey, it's Josh. And by the way, I'm in Chrome, and for some reason in Chrome, it keeps like, I don't know. Uh, this this works better in Firefox, but my Firefox is being temperamental. Uh, but I'm doing this in Chrome, and so that's why it's keeping like the bold and, I don't know, being weird. Um, here's the info you requested on how I generated 1,065 leads in only seven days, okay? Something like that, right? Uh, click here for the info. Enjoy. Now, incidentally, I would normally put more here, um, but in the interest of time, I'm, I'm specifically keeping it short, okay? And I always, I always put my, you know, I, I typically put that so people can connect with me. Um, and then I would, you would click, you would highlight this. So first of all, I'm actually, I'm going to copy all of this and you can, you can play with these settings here, right? I'm sure all of you know how to do that. 
Uh, I'm going to change the font to size 16. Uh, although 18 is probably fine also. And then what I want to do is I'm going to hyperlink, click here for the info. And I'm just going to put, you know, HTTP joshshanley.com, whatever, you know, we're just, we're just messing around here. Okay. Then one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this and right down here, it says plain text. We're also going to put this as plain text. Now, I've found that by doing this, you will get better deliverability and therefore higher open rates. Okay. The only thing is you have to put the actual link. So the link that we hyperlinked here in the plain text, that will break. So you need to put the actual link for whatever it is you're sending them. Okay. Then we close that and then we hit next step. And then we hit, the last thing is save and publish. And then we've got this. So that is set to go up, so that it go out. If anyone opts into this campaign, that'll go out automatically for you. And then to add more, you just hit create new. You can choose when. So this on day one means tomorrow, the day after they opted in initially. And you can have it go same time as signed up. Okay, so if they opted in at 3 p.m. Eastern, this would go out at 3 p.m. Eastern the next day. You can do with a delay of uh, or exactly at. So you could do uh, with a delay of one hour. So you could do, they opted in, uh, you could send them a day later plus an hour. You know, I don't know, I don't know. P cool features, but not necessary, right? And then the rest of this process would be the same. Create new email. Start from scratch, write a line, drop over, drag over your text block, make sure you put the plain text, etc. cetera, right? Uh, also, in another training, we'll show you how you can preload done for you campaigns as well, okay? So that'll be in another one of these trainings. That's it for this one. Um, I'm not sure what the next one will be, but check out whatever you need help with below. They'll be, uh, we'll, we'll walk you through those.